Hi, I'm Greg Coote. I'm a member of Butterfly Conservation South Australia. I'm also involved in the monitoring program for the checkered copper butterfly, Lucia limbaria. These videos were shot in Victoria Park, Pakakapanthi, on the edge of the Adelaide CBD. And they show the interaction between the caterpillars of the butterfly and the obligate ant, Iridomyrmex rufiniga. Here you can see a very small caterpillar, but you can also see all the salient features. The caterpillar is only about as long as the attendant ant, which is three millimetres in length. You can see the ant collecting honeydew from the nectary gland at the rear of the caterpillar. And you can also see the two aversible organs either side of the honeydew gland, which emit pheromones that the ant is responding to. In the background, you can see some of the foliage of the host plant, Oxalis perennans, with some light grazing. Here's a caterpillar being escorted across the ground. Watch as this ant comes in from above and watch the rear legs as it pushes the caterpillar so that it moves onto a higher stem from which it can access fresh green grazing on the Oxalis perennans. And again, this caterpillar is moving across the ground when it becomes entangled in a web. The ants move in and pull it clear. So the relationship between the ants and the caterpillar is not a passive one. The ants are in fact herding the caterpillar to and from the ant nest and up into the grazing. And here's a caterpillar eating its way through the next generation's feed. Above that caterpillar are three fresh eggs of the Lucia limbaria butterfly. And above that you can see the rear of the caterpillar clasping onto the top of the leaf and there are ants collecting honeydew from the nectary gland. An ant also moves in and carefully inspects the eggs. You can see the speed with which the caterpillar is moving through that leaf. And here you can see a well-trained caterpillar that actually moves across in front of the camera and stops right at the point where we can see the nectary gland at the rear of the caterpillar and ants collecting honeydew from the gland. You can also see the two aversible organs moving on either side of it. And you can see how they are a little bit like when you remove your hand from a rubber glove and the fingers of the glove turn inside out. Those organs are actually returned into the body of the caterpillar when they are withdrawn. They emit pheromones, which the ant responds to. You can see the ants are very keen on collecting the honeydew. And here's a caterpillar being shepherded from the ant nest. As we pan down, you can see the nest entrance with the ants moving around and escorting the caterpillar as it moves forward. As we go up to the left here, you can see that it's being taken up to graze with some of its fellows on the foliage. And again, this is a large caterpillar and gets a good pull from an ant to help it out of the nest entrance. And what comes out from the nest has to be returned to it. Here's a caterpillar being shepherded back into the nest, having fed on the Oxalis perennans. Ants are still helping themselves to honeydew from the honeydew gland. My observation was that not all of the caterpillars are brought out at the same time and then returned en masse later. That individual caterpillars are brought out one at a time and other caterpillars are brought down. So the caterpillars are being cycled through the grazing. And here's a general view of a very large caterpillar. As it squirms past the camera, you can see the beautiful patterning and colouring on this fine creature. Of particular interest is as the rear of the caterpillar comes past the camera, you can see the fine bottle brush like hairs at the end of the aversible organs when they're fully extended. And finally, Here's a checkered copper butterfly.